All right. Uh, all right, so this is the little demo to show how the line tool works differently when you're facing each direction for Domino. So I'm facing north. If I tried to connect one voxel to one voxel, which is the easiest and most direct line to make, a 45 degree angle, it does that when I'm facing north. There it is facing east. And south, it is almost the same as the east, so the east and the south work properly. The south is a little more deformed than the east. And there it is to the west. So you see the north and the west don't work right, south and the east work right, and this is due to the way each voxel is innately deformed on the southeast corner. I'm going to show some more examples. So if I put a one by one voxel here on the wall and then smooth the one by one voxel, uh, the old smooth tool would have the southeast corner not smooth the same. The new smooth tool might actually have fixed that. It does, the new smooth tool does vary depending on what direction you're facing. And I didn't do this experiment, so I have to figure out what Zulji did exactly and copy it. He may have smoothed into the wall, let's see. Okay, there you can actually see it is distorting more on this side. You can see the shadow. See the difference in the distortion the smooth tool makes um, on the different sides. Um, I'm just putting my selection tool over the flat surface of the wall so you can see the part of the wall that's pulled out due to the smooth tool and the geometric shape it makes um, that shows the different, the way the mesh smooths differently depending on the side that is smoothed. And here I get a completely different result. It warps inward. And the shape the other two walls made on the south on, on the north side and the east side were nice and this one is very di distorted by comparison around the smoothed object. And it doesn't smooth it. Um, it's even pulling it downward instead of just smoothing it. That might account for some of the smoothing anomalies. And again, it's pretty much a, a nice normal shape. but it's a mirror image of the distortion made in the wall by the smooth tool on the north side. So you get a mirror image distortion north and south. Looks like the cleanest distortion is on the east wall. And then the west wall is all cattywampus. It is crazy.
I did not realize it was that big of a difference. So now I know uh, why the Smooth tool behaves a little more strangely. So hopefully um, that helps the the mesh that is around each cube because I guess each voxel that we see is actually not a voxel, it's a collection of points and a mesh. So each mesh on this side forms differently. Um, Mythesk has said that it has to be that way because once it is formed it's the way the game engine anchors it to the mesh to orient it to all the other parts of the mesh. So. Um, I do know that affects the line tool for larger scales too. I'll just do that real quick. So you can see the way it's pulling. And it's supposed to do that, of course, but... I moved in the same direction to show on the bottom. Uh, I didn't go far enough out on that one. No, I did. Wow, that's pretty noticeable. Okay, so I moved from bottom to top to get consistent direction. And you can see there's absolutely no warping when I go from the north bottom to the top. You can see the warping on the wall because of the bending there, the way these voxels deform down to meet the wall. Which is the opposite of over here. Over here it's a nice smooth connection up top. And it's warped on the bottom when I move from bottom to top. So on the facing the west it deforms from on the bottom but not the top facing the north, it deforms on the top, but not the bottom. This is not my claim. <laughs> And so you can see the direction you face changes, how it connects to the um, voxels it ends up at. It also changes the overall smoothness of the line. It is much more noticeable when you're not making just a nice straight, uh, I think this one is actually further out, when you're not making a nice straight diagonal like this. For instance, if I tried to make it go from a smaller size to a bigger size, which it should be able to do. Let me repeat the west so it's not so far away. Okay, so, nope, that's too close. So you see, uh, I've got it three voxels away. No, it's still too close. 